Let us now come to solve one problem on control circuit design. So, on control circuit design different kinds of problems may come, but how to design a control circuit from a problem given in words. So, to get the idea uh, today we are going to discuss that one. Okay. This sort of problem may come in other forms also. A CPU in addition to the registers, accumulator, memory address register, program counter, instruction register contains the registers BCDE. So, they are containing ACC, MAR, accumulator, memory address register, program counter, instruction register along with that BCDE. We know that accumulator can also be called as A register, accumulator can also be called each having same length as that of the format ones. So, there is no problem with the length mismatch. Additional instructions are provided on these new registers are accumulator is equal to accumulator plus x. What is x? Okay. Accumulator will be initialized with the current value of x. X will get the value from MDR. So, that is another register memory data register and MAR will get initialized with Y. So, X and Y are unknown to us. So, X may be anyone from BCDE. So, X can uh, X can be B or C or D or E and Y can be anyone, any one of the registers out of D and E. So, give the schematic diagram of the CPU with the control lines properly. So, that is the question. So, I am supposed to draw the control circuit on this given fact. So, X may be B, C, D, any one of the registers and Y may be any one of the D and E registers. So, how to go for the circuit design? So, now here you see I have got MDR, I have got uh, marks is there, okay. B, C, D registers are there. Here we are having the ALU, here we are having the ALU and then ALU will be required here, ALU will be required here. So, we are having this ALU and then we are having this uh, BCD, MAR is this, this one. So, the circuit has to be drawn. Now, I am going for the this one, going for the second one, second. So, I am going for this for the second one. So, now accumulator must get initialized with, with X, accumulator must get initialized with X. So, X means B, C, D, E. Okay. So, now C0 and C1 selects B, C, D, E. So, now you see C0 and C1 selects, they, they are going to select B, C, D, E. So, which register will come? So, that will be selected by C0, C1. I have written that one. And C2 will enable the path and C2 will enable the path so that the registers con content can come to the accumulator. So, C0, C1 is selecting BCD and C2 is en enabling the data path so that the data can come from either one of the registers to the accumulator. So, I think I have discussed this one. Let me come to the next problem. So, now here we are having say ALU is equal to BCD. So, any, any one of the registers will be coming to ALU. So, what do, how to do? Again that C0, C1 will allow, will decide that which register will come and C3 will enable the path to the ALU. So, C3 will be enable, will enable the path to the ALU. So, that part I have discussed. Next one. Next one is ALU will be having this accumulator because I must be having X to be brought in ALU. I have done this one here. Accumulator must be, taught, uh, must be brought to ALU. So, that is this one. So, accumulator is coming to ALU. So, how to do? C5 enables the data path. C5 is enabling the data path. So, accumulator will be coming to ALU. So, C5 will enable the data path. So, it will be coming like this. Accumulator will be coming to ALU. C4, sorry. C4 will enable the path. So, that is the C4. So, now we see after doing addition, which is in the accumulator, which is in the ALU, will be going to the accumulator which is in the ALU will be going to the accumulator. So, I require another path from ALU to the accumulator. I require another path from ALU to the accumulator. So, there C5 will enable the path. So, I have discussed this and that. So, using this three, I have solved problem number one. Okay, next one. MDR content will be going to either B, C, D or E, MDR. So, which one? 
I think this one. So that is the problem number three. So now C6, C7 will select, C6, C7 will select that which, uh, which registers will be there and MDR content will be going. So MDR content is coming here. It is going any one of the registers depending upon C6, C7. So that will be the DMAX. You know, no, DMAX will have always one input and two to the power of n number of output lines and n number of select lines. So that is a DMAX. So MDR content will be going to one of the registers. So which will enable the data path? C8. And which will select that to which register? C6, C7. So it has been depicted. C6, C7 will decide that this MDR will be going to which register and C8 will enable the path. Okay. Now the last one, D and E, Y means D and E, either D or E will be going for the, will, will be going for the MAR. So here C10, so here you see C10 will decide that which will be going, so C10 is this one. So C10 will, will be 0, then D will be going, if C10 is 1, then E will be going and C9 is enabling the path and C9 is enabling the data path. So this is a way to solve such problems. When the problem will come in words, you shall have to keep your head cool. You shall have to find that to do this particular operation from where to, to which location the data is supposed to move. So I require some control signals to enable the respective data paths and also the respective control signals are required to select a respective device or say registers and so on. So in this way the circuit has to be drawn and you should draw this circuit in such a way that keeping ALU here, putting that BCDE here, so you should draw in this way so that there will be less crossover lines. You should have to draw the circuit accordingly. So I think you have got the idea how this problems uh, related with the control circuit design can be implemented and from here also. Uh, we can have some variations of other problems. I shall be discussing that one also. So hope you have enjoyed this particular uh, session. Thanks for watching.